This video is on spine and leaf architecture. Spine and leaf is a two-tier model where the spine is the backbone of the network and it is responsible for interconnecting all the leaf switches in a full mesh topology. Thanks to mesh, every leaf is connected to every spine and the path is randomly chosen so that traffic load is evenly distributed among the top tier switches. This means that if one of the switches at the top fails, there would only be a slight degradation in performance throughout the data center. This model also ensures that no matter which leaf switch is connected to the server, the traffic always has to cross the same number of devices to get to another server. This keeps latency at a steady level. In today's leaf spine topology, top of rack switches are leaf switches and they are attached to the spine switches. When the top of rack switching is incorporated into this architecture, switches located within the same rack are connected to an in-rack network switch which is connected to aggregation switches, usually via fiber cabling. The biggest pro of this setup is that switches within each rack can be connected with cheaper copper cabling. The main difference between spine leaf architecture and three-tier architecture is the number of network layers and the traffic they transform. The traditional three-tier network has core aggregation and access layers as we discussed before, and is usually designed for north-south traffic and uses STP protocol, supporting up to 100 switches. And in case of continuous expansion of network data, this is going to result in port blockage and limited scalability. Spine leaf architecture adds east-west traffic parallel to the north-south network architecture of the backbone, which solves the bottleneck problem of the traditional three-tier network architecture. It increases the exchange layer under the access layer, and the data transmission between the two nodes is completed directly at this layer, thereby diverting backbone network transmission. Compared to the traditional three-tier architecture, the spine leaf architecture provides a connection through the spine with the single hop between leaves, minimizing any latency and bottlenecks. Also, the switch configuration is fixed so that no network changes are required for a dynamic server environment. Previously, spine and leaf architecture weren't used due to cost, but it's becoming popular due to software-defined networking powered by things like cloud and containerized infrastructure.